from the beginning. Thanks to Professor uh, Jacobello and Di Coco for his kind, the kind invitation to participate at this Congress. Now let's uh, present the welding of two dissimilar polymers, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and PP polypropylene using friction steel winding and evaluation of mechanical properties. I come from the University of Michoacán in Mexico. Then the online, this introduction, material and experimental setup, raw material, experimental setup, testing condition. And the second part is friction steel winding of the similar ultra high molecular weight polyethylene okay. and polypropylene. Result of welding, tensile and hardness test, flow during friction steel welding, and finally conclusions. Now the introduction, uh, some uh, uh, main uh, mechanical and physical properties of this true thermoplastic melting temperatures for the polypropylene, which is about 113, 171. And for ultra high molecular is 144, 150. Uh, the glass transition temperature is very low for both thermoplastic minus, uh, minus 34, minus 10, minus 80, minus 50. Density is quite similar, typical for thermoplastic materials. Viscosity for the first one is 2000, for the second one, 4,500. Uh, tensile uh, modulus of elasticity is quite similar, ranging from 1.3 to 1.8 for the polypropylene, etc. Ultimate tensile strength, uh, 34, 40 for the first one, 39, 48 for the second. And finally, molecular weight. Here we have a high difference. For polypropylene, we have 280, 7, uh, 8, uh, 800, 7, but for ultra high molecular weight uh, polyethylene, we have 2 millions and 6 millions of value. Typical application of these uh, polymers. For polypropylene, is flexible and rigid packaging, and mainly is uh, the automotive industry high application in this field. And for ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, is characterized by yeah. high wear abrasion, yeah, high wear abrasion resistance, toughness, and biocompatibility. Now, the interest is to combine these two thermoplastic materials in order to, to see the potentiality of uh, automotive industry. The experimental setup plates of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and polypropylene were, were machined in order to carry out uh, friction steel welding. The pin profile used is uh, 55 millimeters in length, and uh, the profile is a hexagonal profile with uh, uh, 10 millimeters in depth and nine, uh, nine millimeters in wide. You see here the two plates of uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and polypropylene. The color is quite similar, in fact. In order to improve the uh, welding process, we introduce a stationary shoulder, which is contained in a bearing, the bearing in a aluminum plate, allowing to rotate only the pin, and the shoulder is a stationary shoulder. Here, the fifth results. Uh, picture one shows uh, the uh, friction steel welding process without um, a stationary solder is a rotating shoulder and the welding is quite poor. In the picture B, we have the stationary shoulder and the process of welding is improved in, 
uh, greatly. Then, um, this is the testing conditions. Nomination were uh, seeing it like 11, 12, meaning that uh, we have 1,100 uh, RPM and 12 millimeters in advances speed. The first one is rotation speed. All the specimen were tested in penetration speed of five millimeters per minute. All the beam profile were hexagonal and some of the specimen were testing with preheating and without preheating. In these uh, conditions, for example, the uh, nomination uh, 3000 means uh, 3025 3, uh, means uh, 3000 3, RPM and 25 millimeters in advanced speed. Now, concerning the results, we have uh, different results. The best results were concentrated without preheating. And uh, for the lowest values of, of rotational speed, that means 1,100 and 12 millimeters uh, per minute in advanced speed. Now, The test seal tests were carried out following the STM standard D638 in order to fix the dimension of tensile specimen. On the upper side, we have polypropylene. On the lower side, we have, we have the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Always the advances speed was uh, located in the higher density, higher density of this thermoplastic. Now we have the results for tensile test. Tensile test. Uh, the first uh, tensile test were carried out in the parent material. In the left side, we have the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which presents an uh, um, somewhat uh, ductile behavior, but fracture in one point of elongation. In contrast, we have the polypropylene, which shows unductile behavior for a, a, a level of applying stress, which means a higher value of ductility. Now, the fracture test. Uh, the high values for uh, the tensile test was related to the lowest values concerning rotational speed and advances speed, and particularly without pre preheating. And here we have the um, harness test along the specimen. In the uh, left side, we have the parent material polypropylene. and the right side, we have the parent material for the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. And in, uh, in, the middle, in the middle, we have the steel zone characterizing by uh, hardness decrease. And the, uh, the value, the high value of hardness is uh, for the uh, nomination 11, 12 does mean the lowest values for advanced speed and for rotation, rotational speeds. Finally, the flow during friction steel welding. All specimen present real fracture uh, for all the combination of testing condition, but concerning the, uh, the flow, uh, the vertical axis show the tool pins temperature in Celsius degree. And uh, in the horizontal axis, the different uh, nomination or specimen, you can see that uh, for the lowest values of rotational um, uh, advanced speed, we have the lowest values of the tool temperature. And then we observe a laminar behavior of flow inside the testing specimen. 
when we increase the land, uh, the rotational speed and the advanced speed, a transition for turbulent flow is observed. Then, in conclusion, the results for joining were observed for a specimen without preheating and lower values for uh, transverse and rotating speed. At the origin of this behavior may be lower glass transition temperature of these two thermoplastic, which led to adequate uh, molecular diffusion in liquid state and mixing of the polymeric, polymeric chain without need of preheating. Tunnel effect and microporosity were not observed for a specimen destined to tensile test. The decrease on tensile strength for the similar joining may be related to excessive heat generation during the welding process. Brittle, brittle fracture was predominantly welded specimen over the ductile fracture. Transition from laminar to turbulent flow led to decreasing in tensile strength. Nevertheless, real behavior was observed for all testing the similar joints. Nico harness values were obtained along the steel zone. A neighborhood in the steel zone, these values decrease as a consequence of um, material softening induced by heat in generation, a low heat dissipation in thermoplastic with low heat conductive properties. Sorry. Harness values, yeah. It's, I have to uh, finish. stop your presentation, okay. Okay, finish. Thank you for okay. your attention.